Hey guys, and welcome back to something that's a little bit different. So right here I've pulled up the zombie, or Black Ops 6 zombies, kind of like trailer in a sense. And because I do have a couple things in mind, because as you all know, I kind of in a sense started this channel on like a zombies train, at least with Black Ops 3, going through all those uh, Easter eggs and such. And... Also, I've been following zombies for like seven-ish years or something like that, pretty much since almost the beginning. And I just thought I should give my input on this because even though it's probably not going to be heard by many people, anything in all criticism is kind of needed in a sense, if you guys understand. So hopefully... um within this video i can at least talk about some things so i know i've watched a couple other videos especially from mr raffle waffles who is a zombies youtuber very big very popular you guys have probably heard of him if you're in the zombies community but um overall the uh, this trailer honestly i would say is pretty damn good just overall, because of this shot, especially right here, because... Oh, let's go back a little bit. Because this shot, in a sense, just really gives me Zetsubo no Shima vibes. Especially with, like, the music in the background. It really gives off the Black Ops 3 feel. Because I'm pretty sure they may have used that music throughout all of the zombie modes, if I'm not mistaken. But it's very prevalent in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So, um, continuing on, they just keep on talking about how they're going to be bringing back round-based modes. Which, thank God, because I have not played uh, Cold War, Modern Warfare 3, Vanguard. I haven't played any of those zombies because, to me, those modes did just did not do well for me at all. Whatsoever. And it just did not seem interesting. Cold War seemed interesting until they got to the DLC seasons. Then I stopped. But we'll also with zombies. this omnimal, omnimal movement thing where you're able to spread in every direction. Useful in some cases. But in most, I don't see it being that very useful. Especially in the zombies. But, I mean, whatever... Um movement systems added i mean it's going to be ported into zombies regardless now being able to uh dolphin dive awesome. backwards awesome. like in this that's just going to be funny especially whenever you're playing with friends that don't necessarily know the game plus also i just feel like it make for epic shots especially like this plus and um... so uh also gobble gums are making a return to this if you haven't heard already so that's also a plus, because for me, I've always enjoyed the Black Ops 3 system, but I've also enjoyed the Black Ops 4 system. I preferred the Black Ops 3, where you had to like go to specific machines to get your gobble gums instead of having them always on you, and you can activate whenever. But Black Ops 4 was, wasn't as bad as everyone says, and my friend can also agree the one that I've always played zombies with, he he agrees that the Black Ops 4 version wasn't as bad as everyone says, but the launch of Black Ops 4 was horrible. I'll, I'll agree with that. I just hope that this game is as good as they're trying to sell it, because this looks promising. Like, it's a very promising modes but especially here let's see oh it's already up updated as much as it can but apparently with these operators or this is going to be your main crew uh i'm assuming you're going to be able to also play with operators from what i've been hearing but um hopefully that doesn't get in the way because i've heard that they're only using operators in like the zombies mode just to in a sense squeeze more money out of the community, which I think is a horrible move. But I mean, they're going to if it's optional, I'm not going to give much of a shit anyway, because I don't really care 
about it. I don't care about customizing, so getting an operator here and there for free, like, that's not going to bother me. But overall, this makes me kind of want to return back to zombies in a sense. And hopefully, um, this is a huge bonus to get back into zombies. Because every year I've always had a uh, resurgence with zombies. It's more, mainly towards the beginning of the year. It's like January through May or something like that. Um, I always get a resurgence to play zombies again, which is a good and bad thing. I just get bored extremely easily, but this just makes it... Because we're getting two um, round-based zombies off the bat. And I'm assuming Outbreak is also going to make some type of return in the mode itself as well. Which, I mean, I feel like Outbreak is never honestly going to leave. Because it was such a prevalent mode in Cold War, I believe, is when it was made. I could be wrong about that. But... Overall, I just hope that this Zombies experience isn't like Vanguard or Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Because from just from what I've heard, those modes just sucked everything. And I because I just recently watched Mr. Raffle Waffle's 30-minute um, video of like how this Zombies experience is going to be bad. And he goes into details because he's been in the community since day one, pretty much. And pretty much on how <clears throat> um, the communication between the developers and the community, that needs to get stronger because overall, there everyone's noticed that there's been a lack of communication between everything. And we're just not getting exactly what we want, and we're not happy with it. Because I believe that this year might potentially be the last year for Zombies if it was given a second shot. Now, that's a negative thing, obviously, if y'all are in the community. Because there's nothing for us to do afterwards. But I'm just giving this as hopes, but... I'm not even going to buy the game yet until I see more gameplay of this. But it looks somewhat promising. Like, I think I even looked on whenever they were announced for Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I think I even looked at those trailers whenever they came out. And they didn't look like much for me. Like, they didn't seem like a good enough experience. And I was... I guess my gut feeling was right about those. But hopefully, overall... This zombie's experience is a lot better. and Because I think it could honestly be a mixture of Black Ops 3 and Cold War zombies. Hopefully. Because I believe that those two zombies' experiences were the best that the community has ever seen. On top of the most sales that they have made overall just from com the, the zombies portion of their sales in general so hopefully we do get that and um let me know what you guys think honestly down below because i've gone through the polls on like youtube whenever i'm just watching in my free time and everyone is saying the same thing of like we need to see more gameplay of this because overall it just looks like another money grab like it is every year but overall the community is very mixed. The trailer looks very good. And even for the entire game, because like I'm thinking about just getting the game just so I can play the campaign, because I haven't played the campaign since Infinite War. Actually, no, Modern Warfare 2019 was the last campaign that I actually played. I still need to watch the campaigns for the other games, but that's besides the point. So... Hopefully that this game is honestly good because I want another good zombies title to come out because I do love this mode to death and I want to see it succeed, but there's no succeeding if there's nothing to give into it. So let me know what you guys think down below. And I know this is probably a shorter video for what I normally do because it's normally like 20 ish minutes, 20 to like 30 minutes, something like that. But 
Let me know what you guys think of the entire zombies experience down below. Because, again, I play more zombies. I don't really play multiplayer, if any, at that point. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, subscribe if you want zombies to get a hopeful return at the end of the day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.